Hi, my name is Mike Haas and I'm an application engineer with Agilent Technologies. Today I want to tell you about BenchLink Data Logger Pro. This is a easy to use software program that comes along with the 34972 data acquisition unit. And today I'm going to show you a couple of advanced features, primarily focused on multiple scans and being able to sequence between those scans. So let's take a look at the, the computer here. So now let me describe the scenario we're going to be running uh, with our demonstration today. Basically, we're going to be looking at the temperature of a heater, thermistor 1, and we want to keep it within a high and a low limit. Um, so we'll heat up that temperature by turning on the heater, and when it hits a top limit of 27 degrees, we're going to turn off the heater automatically. What I also have available here is a couple of manual switches where I can turn on a fan manually or I can turn on the heater manually. The way that we're going to turn off our heater when it hits a top limit is with alarm 2. So you'll see an LED go off uh, and that will override the manual switch. Let's move to BenchLink Data Logger. Here is the configure scan list screen and as I mentioned we have two scan lists in our scenario today. One is the run up where we're heating up the heater and, uh, and we'll see the temperature rise and the second is run down. Let's take a look at the, the run up scan. We're only looking at one of the multiple channels that we have available and we've selected T1, that's the thermistor associated with the heater. We can set up the function and other different parameters for the specific channel. And in this case, we have a limit set. As we've mentioned, if the temperature goes above 27 degrees C, that's our high limit, then we're going to issue an alarm, a hardware alarm number two, and that will basically turn off the heater. Let's take a brief look at the other scan, which is the rundown. Again, we're really only going to be looking at uh, thermistor 1, which is measuring the temperature of the heater. But we do have a limit set there where if it goes below 26.5 degrees C, then we will um, jump back to the other scan list and start heating the heater up again. The Configure Events tab shows this sequencing, and I'm going to show you a nice feature, which is the state diagram. The state diagram here shows both of the two scans. Remember we have one is run up heating and the other one is run down cooling. So when we're running up, if we hit that 27 degrees limit, then it will sequence down to the other scan, run down cool. And when we hit the limit of less than 26.5 degrees C, that will run back up to the run up heat. So we have an infinite loop going here when we hit the stop button, then we will eject either out of the run up heat or run down cool sequence and stop the experiment. Here's the actual uh, events that we're using. Again, uh, we have the run up heat where we're checking above the 27 degrees. And if we hit that, we do alarm two. And then our next step would be to go to the run down cool sequence. And that's here, and here you can see that uh, we're looking at the limit, 26.5 uh, degrees C, and that's the lower limit. And then we'll go back up to the run-up heat, so that's where we're, we're getting the infinite loop. So let's go ahead and uh, run the scenario. I'll start the scan. You can see we're starting to measure um, T1 and I've turned the heater on manually and it's going to start to rise. The line there shows 25 degrees C so when we get uh, up to 27 here pretty quickly you're going to see it uh, set the alarm to. You'll see the little uh, light go on. There it goes. And we're going to jump to our other scan where we're going to turn off the heater and you can see it's starting to, to roll over. I'm going to simulate um, maybe a door or window being opened by turning on the fan. So here comes the breeze and you can see that it's going to decline faster, the temperature. So it's going to be declining. We're down to about 27 degrees now. And once we get down to 26.5, you'll see another red dot. And this says we've hit 
our other event and we'll be moving back to our run-up scan. So we're just about there. There we hit it. You can see the red like going on. And now we jump back up to the run-up and it's the heaters back on and it's cycling back up. We'll be uh, now jumping to run down again. So that gives you an idea on how it will run. And that concludes uh, the demo that we have for you. This is showing you Benchlink Data Logger Pro and a couple of the advanced features that are available. Multiple scan lists, it shows you how the events can sequence or give you some basic sequencing between those scan lists. And it also showed you a nice uh, documentation feature that shows you the, the uh, flow diagram between those scans. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed uh, the video.